Hey guys, Jeremy here with another episode of Random Expensiveness. Um, today we're going to be building my first gaming PC and uh, some of the parts here. And we'll start from the right and work our way to the left. So first off, we're going to start off with the, the Fantex N3 Evolve ATX case. Uh, that's the tempered glass version. Um, and then we also have the uh, brand new Astro A40 headset for the PC. Um, and I also opted for the A40 mod kit, the black and red version. Um, to power the system, we're going to go with the EVGA Supernova 1000 P2 Platinum Power Supply. Uh, for the hard drive, we have the Samsung 960 Pro, and that's the one terabyte version. Um, and then for memory, we went with two 16 gig sticks of uh, Rib Jaws, um, that's the 3200. Um, then for the keyboard, I went with a Corsair uh, K70 RGB uh, with the rapid fire keys. Uh, for the motherboard, we're going to use a Strix. Z270 gaming motherboard. Uh, for the CPU, I went with the Core um, i7 7700K. Uh, and then we use the EVGA SLI bridge. Um, and then we're going to use two GTX 1080 Ti's in SLI. And for now, the gaming monitor is going to be the BenQ RL gaming monitor. Uh, we will upgrade that to the 4K when um, the monitors support 144 hertz. And without further ado, we'll put this together. All right, guys, and for cooling, we're going to go with the Kraken X52. Uh, that's the liquid cooling all-in-one uh, cooler by NZXT. And we also have six Corsair SP120s. All right, so I've gotten a couple of the requests to upgrade the monitor from this 1080p BenQ. So without further ado, here's the new monitor. All right, and here's the replacement. This is the Asus MG28U. Uh, it's a 28 inch monitor, uh, Ultra HD 4K at, with a one millisecond refresh time. Um, I am going to upgrade to the Asus 4K when the 144 hertz comes out uh, and then I'll use this monitor for my Xbox One X. Alright guys, here's a complete overview of the setup here. First we'll take a look at the computer. We have two EVGA 1080 Ti's for the Win 3 editions and SLI. We have a 7700K, delitted and overclocked to 5.0. We're using the NZXT Kraken CPU cooler. The radiator is in a push-pull configuration. We're using the Corsair RGB fans. We have a Samsung 960 Pro M.2, one terabyte. We're using two sticks of 16 gigs G Skill Rip Jaws memory. And we're using the Strix motherboard. We got the Corsair K70 keyboard along with the Xbox One S controller for Bluetooth connectivity. We have the Razer Mamba mouse. The ASUS 4K gaming monitor with one millisecond refresh rate. We have the Astro A40 headset. We have the Macintosh Mac Air player paired with a iPad Pro. And we already got a couple of games installed here. We got Warcraft 3. We got the Blizzard app for Destiny 2. We got Steam, Ark Survival Evolved. League of Legends, StarCraft 2, Players Unknown Battleground, Heroes of the Storm, Doom, Ark Survival, and StarCraft the Remastered Edition. With more games to come, there's a look at the setup once again. Alright, so I hooked up the computer to the Sony 4K projector. We're running a resolution of 4096 by 2160p, and we're going to go ahead and run a graphics test with Firestrike. Alright guys, so there you go, 28,159 in 3D Mark Firestrike. Thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to see more, check out my YouTube channel, Random Expensiveness. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I also wanted to do a special shout out to Rory from Proven Automotive for helping me build and overclock the system.